Okay, uh, the next step is to open up the the RA axis assembly, but before I do so, I would like to point out that there might be some plastic shims on the axes. You may not have them. I didn't have any on the declination axis, but there seems to be two of these on my RA axis on this side, and there may be more inside here. So take a note of them. I'm personally not going to even remove them. I just try to keep them where they are so I don't mix them up because they may affect the backlashes and whatnot. And, and to open up this thing, it's the same thing as the declination axis. You first have to loosen these grub screws. And these actually are for the warm gear drive mechanism. They adjust the tightness of how, how tight the, the, the worm is, is, is uh, in contact with the actual gear. And there's another grub screw here on the other side. I'm going to loosen up that as well. And then we have four. M6 bolts we need to open up. Pretty tight. Oh, it's really tight. There we go. One more. These are all the same length again. Now we should be able to pop this off. Yep, there's some plastic shims on the other side as well. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to remove them, so otherwise I'm gonna lose them. Turn that back again for a bit. as is. Don't think there's no need don't think there's a need to actually remove the the bearing and the remaining shims. There's one here. Alrighty. So that's that. Okay, so now we have to remove the the warm gear. And to do that you have to loosen up the setting circle screws and uh, remove the circle like that that on one side and we should be able to just lift this off now 
and that's the uh, gear that we're gonna have to replace with the with the kit gear. Careful not to remove the bearing. Okay, there's a bit greasy part, so be careful with that. Okay, so it's time to start the actual modification now that we have the mount open. Um, we're going to do the R8 axis first and this is where this uh, optional tool comes into play. It looks like this. It has some pins on it, and be careful because these actually come off. Uh, they come off for the for a reason, um, which I'll come back to a bit later. But for now, what we're going to have to do is to loosen up the grub screws on the gear over here. There's two of them. Seem to be pretty tight. Alright, so I eventually managed to get the grab screws out. It wasn't easy. Um, it turns out that they actually are held in place with some sort of Loctite kind of material. Um, what I ended up doing is using a ga gas torch like this to heat them up. And eventually I was able to just use a normal Allen key to undo the Grab screw, and I'll put that back in there loosely, and make sure that the other one is loose as well. This tool and try to remove the this black cap. Comes on fairly easily. And then I believe we need to I'll already drop them. So you need to remove these pins from the tool, like so, and use the end of the tool to remove the ring that is holding the bearing in place. It seems to be stuck. Like I said before, it's always better to use proper tools and proper methods rather than trying to force it with the wrong tools and wrong methods. Because you might end up breaking your tools or the part you're working on or even injure yourself. So I decided to use this vise which is attached to my table. And I put the part uh, between these two pieces of wood to protect it from any kind of scratches and whatnot. And still the ring was pretty stuck in there so I used a little bit of WD-40 to free it up and now it actually moves fairly freely. I still have to use a little bit of extra lever. But it's coming off. side and we should be able to remove this right so it seems like we have another stuck part here so I decided to put the uh, part back in the vise the other way around so I can remove the cap on this side as well.
and my plan is to use this M6 bolt so I can actually use that the hammer to tap on the shaft still pretty stuck in there I have to make sure that my grab screws are completely loose I may need to use a bit more heat to get this thing moving Okay, let's try to warm it up a bit. You don't want to burn all the greases inside the bearing because and there might actually be some rubber bots inside rock ceilings and stuff in the bearing as well so go easy on the heat right let's give it a go did move about five millimeters. The bearing and the shafts is coming out from the other side. And also the gear is starting to get off from the shaft as well. Oh, there we go. Didn't quite catch the shaft but it's off now. Here we go. Now we're able to remove the bearing and the gear. <laughs> 